Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory. Accept our thanksgiving, Lord. Accept our thanksgiving. Now begin to ask the Lord to speak to you this morning by his word. Lord, speak to me this morning by your word. Change me. Transform me by your word today. I give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. If somebody believe, say a loud amen. amen. Father, we thank you for the privilege of being in your presence again this morning. We thank you because we know that you are set to visit each one of us. Let your word come forth and through it change every life. We give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Shout a louder amen. amen. Give Jesus a big hand and please you may be seated in his presence. Shout glory. glory. I say shout a louder glory. glory. We began looking at the series last week Sunday which we are taking all through the Sundays of this great month. That is engaging the power of praise for our desired turnarounds. Engaging the power of praise for our desired turnarounds. And we're taking part two in this series this morning. We have come to understand that according to scriptures, praise is a powerful weapon and is a mystery of the kingdom. The Bible makes us to understand in Mark chapter 4 verse 11, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but to them that were down, these things are in parables. One of those mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of praise. The question is, what is in praise? What is in praise? Number one thing we discover is revelation is in praise. Say with me, revelation is in praise. Say it louder, revelation is in praise. In Isaiah chapter 30, verse 29 and verse 30, the Bible says, You shall have a song in the night. He said, As one when one keeps a holy solemnity, he said, and gladness of heart as when one goeth with the pipe unto the mountain of God, unto the mighty one of Israel. And as a result of that, the Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. In other words, the secret voice of God is revealed to those who are praiseful. The more praiseful you are, therefore, the more revelation you gain access to. In the book of Exodus chapter 19, and in verse 19, the scripture says this. It said, and when the voice of the trumpet sounded loud, long, and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered with a voice. You will always gain access to revelation when there is inspirational praise going on around you. A life of praise is always a life of revelation. God's servant, our father, said it this way to us in the earlier services. He said that you, are, you don't gain revelation by how studious you are, but rather the more praiseful you are, the more access you have to divine revelation. The secrets of God are not revealed to the efforts of man. The secrets of God are revealed to, the, to those who continue in praises. In Psalm chapter 16 and verse 11, the Bible says, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence there is fullness of joy, and at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. The connotation of that is this. If you want to see the path of life, you want to gain access to revelation, you want to gain access to the secrets of God, then you must continuously have joyfulness and gladness in your heart. If you are going to gain access to revelation, praise must become a lifestyle. Praise must become a lifestyle. And according to scriptures, we are made to understand that when revelation is at the disposal of any man, turn around becomes his experience. In Psalm 105, beginning from verse 19 down to verse 21, the Bible said there, until the time that his word came, the king sent for him and loosed him. Your change always starts where revelation begins. Your change always starts where revelation begins. And that is why praise becomes a vital tool 
for experiencing supernatural turnaround i pray for you that concerning you in this month this 11th month of praise i see every situation that has resisted change being overturned on your behalf in the name of jesus i said i see every situation that has resisted change being overturned on your behalf in the name of jesus in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18, he said, We all with open face, we behold him as in a glass, the glory of the Lord. We are changed. Revelation always secures change. Revelation always secures change. Therefore, I pray again that every situation that has resisted change, that has refused to turn, for you in this month of praise, in this month of revelation, it is turning for you in the name of Jesus. Number two, what is in praise? The anointing is in praise. The anointing is in praise. In Psalm chapter 92 verse 1 down to verse 3, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name O most high, to show forth his loving kindness in the morning and his faithfulness every night. He said uh, in verse 3, he said, Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound, and verse 10, as a result of all of this praise, but my horn shall thou exalt as the horn of a unicorn i shall be anointed with fresh oil the more praiseful you are the fresher the oil the more praiseful you are the fresher the oil the more praiseful you are the fresher the oil and it is fresh oil that provokes impact fresh oil is what provokes impact the scripture says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 1, he said, Dead flies cause the ointment of apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. In other words, when the oil is stale and dead, he said, What comes out of it is a stinky savor. But when the oil is fresh, the impact is fresh, the results are fresh. It means that every day there are new testimonies on the horizon by reason of the freshness of the oil. I have good news for somebody. You have had testimonies in the past, but this time, by the freshness of the oil, new testimonies are coming your way. New breakthroughs are coming your way. New turnarounds are coming your way. New liftings are coming your way. Somebody believe it, say louder, amen. The oil is freshened by our praise. It is renewed by our praise. In Psalm chapter 89, beginning from verse 20, he said, I have found David, my servant, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. And who are the people that God locates or finds? In John chapter 4, verse 23 and verse 24, the scripture says there, he said that, he said that, the hour comes when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For such, the Father seeketh. There are those seeking God. There are those God is seeking after. When praise becomes your lifetime, you don't struggle to find God. Everywhere you are, God begins to locate you. That's why the scripture said, I have found David. I have located him. And where I found him in praise, I anointed him with fresh oil. For somebody today, I see fresh oil coming upon your head. I said, I see fresh oil coming upon your head. As we praise him today, I see fresh oil coming upon your head. Somebody believe it, say loud amen. I said, somebody believe it, say loud amen. The Bible said concerning Jesus in Acts chapter, 20, Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. The anointing was the provoker of his results. For you, I see the anointing of the Holy Ghost provoking supernatural results on your behalf. That means in your workplace, results are coming your way. In your academics, results are coming your way. In your family, results are coming your way. In your business, results are coming your way. Somebody believe it, say loud, amen. Number three, what is in praise? Signs and wonders are in praise. 
signs and wonders are in praise. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, doing wonders. And you don't need to look far to see the wonders of God that are wrought in praise. Just today, in the second service, we saw somebody who had been a victim of itching, body itching for 40 years. And in a sweep in the midst of praise, that plague disappeared back to the sender. We saw somebody who had 32 years of ulcer pain. And in one moment, because God does not need time to make change, God makes it in the twinkling of an eye. In a moment, that ulcer and the pain disappeared suddenly. There was somebody also in that service for five months, a first timer, unable to walk. Because God doesn't take time. You don't need to repeat before God acts. She came for the first time and began to praise God and celebrate and jubilate. And that inability was turned to supernatural ability. She walked on this altar this morning with complete fitness, complete restoration. Because he is fearful in praises. Today, the fearful acts of God that brings about supernatural happenings will begin to take place for you in the name of Jesus. Somebody in that same service, two years, partial blindness, healed in a moment. Another person, five months, miscarriage, bleeding. The bleeding stopped in a moment. I don't know how long your circumstance may be, but the Bible says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed. We shall all be changed. We shall all be changed. Everything that demands change today, it is changing on your behalf. Somebody believe it, say louder, amen. amen. What are we saying, therefore? Supernatural turn around is located in praise. As you praise God today, I like you to be expectant because whatever was called unturnable will turn for you today. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 19, he said, although the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit in the vines, the labor of the only fail, he said, and the fields yield no meat, the flock being cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the store, he said, yet I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation and he will make my feet like hinds feet and I will step upon my high places never mind those mocking you because god is about to enter into a realm of sudden making for you it will make you suddenly today it will remake your study suddenly today in the name of the lord jesus christ therefore today i see the turnaround power and praise answering supernaturally for you in the name of the lord jesus christ now how do you engage this power what 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 is it that that provokes this turnaround as we have seen concerning praise number one thing we discover is that praise is one vital way to provoke divine presence the greatest treasure of praise is divine presence psalm 22 and verse 3 thou art holy that inhabitest the praises of his people it activates divine presence it provokes the manifestation of divine presence in other words a man that is praiseful has the presence of god carried wherever he goes the manifested presence of god the presence with effect is carried on the life of a man that is praiseful in psalm chapter 104 and verse 4 psalm 100 and verse 4 the bible says he said enter into his gates with thanksgiving into his courts with praise be thankful unto him and bless his holy name in other words a man that is thankful has entered god's gate the man that has is praiseful has entered god's court and the court is the place of decision on matters when there is a matter where there is a disagreement, you take it to court. When you enter praise, you have brought your matter to the court of God. God is seated present and he begins to judge on your behalf. I see God judging on your behalf today in the name of Jesus. I said, I see God judging on your behalf in the name of Jesus. I see God judging on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So praise activates divine presence. 
and divine presence will always make a difference no resistance can stand be, be, before divine presence in Psalm 100 and verse, Psalm 114 verse 1 all the way down to, the, down to the end of that scripture. He said when Israel went out of Egypt, Jacob was his, you know, Israel was his dominion. Judah was his sanctuary. The sea saw it and it fled. He said Judah, Jordan was driven back. He said the hills began to skip. The mountains began to skip. What ailed thee, O sea, that thou fledest? And O Jordan, that thou was driven back. He said, tremble thou, O earth at the presence of the lord at the presence of the god of jacob in other words whatever as it were troubles others trembles at the presence of god whatever has been troubling you before now it will tremble before you by praise today <laughs> nothing can stand where God's presence is located. Now, look at this illustration. Joshua chapter 3 and verse 13. Joshua 3 verse 13. The Bible says the Lord told the priests, carry the ark, which is the presence of God, on your shoulder. He said, and it shall come to pass as soon as the souls of the priests who are carrying God's presence step into the water, the water will be cut off. He said, and the one from above and the other one, and the water will stand in a heap and you will walk on dry ground. Because you can't carry God and face barriers that won't fall. He said, as soon as your feet step inside that water, as long as you are carrying God, the water must divide. I don't know what is standing before you that has refused to divide. But for you this time, as you celebrate God in praise, the waters, the barriers, the barricades shall be divided on your behalf. You can't carry God and be resisted. For if God be for us, who can be against us? The presence of God is the solution to opposition. The presence of God is the dissolution to resistances. Whatever is standing as a resistance before you, as God's presence descends today, it shall be dissolved forever. I said it shall be dissolved forever. It shall be dissolved forever. So praise provokes divine presence. And divine presence makes the difference in the life of a believer. The individual that carries the manifested presence of God cannot but manifest. I see manifestations becoming the order of the day for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We also discover that divine presence is the secret behind all exploits in the kingdom. If you check very closely, every man and woman of supernatural results, you keep hearing, the Lord is with him. The Lord was with him. The Lord was with him. The hand of the Lord came upon him. In other words, divine presence is what provokes exploits. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3, Nicodemus came in the night time, beginning from verse 1 down to verse 2. And he said that, Master, he said, we know that thou art a teacher that is come from God. He said, for no man can do these miracles which thou doest, except God be with him. No man can do it, except God be with him. And what he was saying was true. Because the scripture said, Jesus went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. He said, for God was with him. The presence of God is the secret of exploits. The presence of God is the secret of exploits. In Mark chapter 16 and verse 20, the Bible said they went everywhere preaching. The Lord also walking with them. His presence confirmed with them. Confirming the word with signs following. So the presence of God makes a man a living wonder. A living wonder. Where people cannot explain you, but they can't deny the operations of God around you. That is going to be somebody's experience now. 
I said, that will be somebody's experience now. I said, that will be somebody's experience now. Somebody believe it, say loud amen. I said, somebody believe it, say loud amen. Wait, you cannot be explained, but you can't be denied. The fact is just there. People see the reality of your life. They can't explain how you got to where you got to, but they cannot deny where you have gotten to. That will be somebody's experience now. I said that will be somebody's experience now. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the presence of God is secured by praise and that presence is the secret behind exploits. That presence is the secret behind exploits. We also discover that divine presence facilitates favor. It facilitates favor. It facilitates favor. It makes the difference. It is the secret of exploits, but it also facilitates favor. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 39, verse 5, and in verse 21, we see the presence of God upon the life of Joseph, and the effect of that was favor. In the house of Potiphar, everything was handed over to him. In the prison, everything was handed over to him. By the time he appeared before Pharaoh, everything was handed over to him by the favor of God. That kind of favor is answering for somebody here in the name of Jesus. I remember well the testimony of one of us here. He had been looking for a job for some time. And as he was busy doing his bid for the kingdom of God, suddenly he was called for an interview, appeared there for the interview. He applied for a managerial position. But by the time he got there, they said, no, you'll be good for the general manager. And put him there as the manager director of the place. Favor brought about a handover. For somebody, that kind of favor is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. I said, that kind of favor is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 3, in verse 21, the Lord speaking said there, he said, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. And chapter 12 of Exodus and verse 36, we saw that promise manifested. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians. The Egyptians were the sworn enemies of the Israelites. But yet, they still were forced to release favor. You know what that means? It means you don't need to be liked to be favored. Even where you are hated, you will still be favored there. In this season, as God's presence steps in on your behalf, even those who hate you will be forced to favor you. Somebody believe it, say loud, amen. So divine presence is secured by praise. And number two, praise engenders fulfillment of prophecy. Abraham saw the prophecy of the child he was expecting come to pass on the platform of praise. Romans chapter 4 verse 16 to 21, he said he was not weak in faith but was strong, giving glory to God. And by giving glory to God, he walked supernaturally into the fulfillment of the prophecy. I don't know what is yet to happen from this year's prophetic agenda for you. But the good news is this, as you are celebrating God in this month, whatever is the balance of the packages of this year will be fully delivered into your hand. I said it will be fully delivered into your hand. It will be fully delivered into your hand. It will be fully delivered into your hand. Into your hand. Now hear this. The Bible makes something very clear. The children of Israel were inside Egypt for years. And a prophecy has come that they must be released. And here's what the Bible says. Another translation said, At the end of 430 years, on the very last day, Israel came out of Egypt. This is the very last month before the Shiloh month. Whatever has not yet happened, must happen for you this time. I said it will happen for you this time. Now, how do you access the realm of all round rest? All round rest. How do you get there? 
Let us understand, first of all, that the kingdom of God operates on keys. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19. He said, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. The kingdom of God operates on keys. And keys here represent relevant revelations for accessing the provision of redemption. When we talk about keys, we are talking about relevant revelation for accessing the provisions of redemption. The interesting thing is that kingdom keys are wrapped in simplicities. That is what makes it, as it were, difficult for the complex-minded to receive. God will always hand his keys in simplicities. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 3, he said, lest any, by any means the serpent should beguile you from the simplicity that is in Christ. The gospel is simple. The gospel is simple. The gospel is simple. It must have looked foolish for Israel to keep going around the wall of Jericho, keeping quiet, looking at the wall, and then getting to the seventh day, going around seven times, and then giving a shout. They must have been mocking the simplicity, but the complexities of life bow to the simplicities of God. I don't know what looks complex to you, but the simple truth of God will triumph on your behalf today. They appear simple, but in the simplicity is the power of God. Now, the question now is, how do I access this realm of all-around rest? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12 to 15. The Bible gives us the answer to this in very simple terms. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. And that whosoever will not seek the Lord should be put to death, whether I be small or great, whether I be man or woman. And verse 14, and they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. He said, and Judah rejoiced at the oath for they have sworn with all their heart and they sought him with their whole desire and he was found of them and the Lord gave them rest round about all round rest simply by covenanting to serve god and the interest of his kingdom so you say how do i get all round rest simple make a covenant with god to serve him and the interest of his kingdom and you secure all round rest that's why Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things others are dying to get. They will simply be delivered unto you. I see every area of unrest in your life being overturned today in the name of Jesus Christ. I said I see every area of unrest in your life being overturned today in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture makes it very clear to us there. So you want to enjoy rest. Simply covenant lord i make you my priority i make you my priority we have heard from our father continuously how that that covenant was made with god 1976 september 12 and today 40 years after you can see rest being given in every department of his life for you also 40 years from now rest shall be seen in every department of your life in the name of the lord jesus christ what a joy that today we are also receiving the mystery of the communion table. And the communion table is the platform for the manifestation of the supernatural. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 26, very clearly the scripture makes it clear. It said, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you show the Lord's death until he comes. Today, there will be something to show for you. As you partake of that table and engage with the mystery of praise, I see something dramatic showing on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. The testimonies are there to validate it. I don't know what your matter is, but today is the end of that case. I said today is the end of that case. I said today is the end of that case. I said today is the end of that case. I said today is the end of that case. Somebody believe it, say loud, amen.
Olu Shogar family, full blown bone marrow cancer. They partook of the communion table. It was the end of it. I don't know what you came with, but today is the termination of that matter. Lift up your right hand to heaven right now and glorify the name of the Lord. Father, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Before we move further in this service this morning, if you are here today, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. I'd like you to recognize praise can only have value when you are connected to God. He said, the living, the living only shall praise your name. Only those who are connected to God can praise God effectively. If you are here today, you don't have inside your heart the assurance of salvation. It doesn't matter how long you have been going to church. You know that you are not personally connected to God. Today is your opportunity. I like you very quickly this morning. You want to be born again. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to connect your heart to God today in reality. I'd like you to quickly rise on your feet right now. I want to pray with you. Today, God has ordained it as your day of salvation. Quickly rise on your feet. God bless you. Refuse to remain seated. This is not the time to consider who is around you. It is the time to make a decision for Jesus. Quickly rise on your feet right now. All over this place, wherever you are seated. Here in the faith tabernacle, the balconies, the galleries, the overflows, wherever you may be, quickly rise on your feet right now. Thank you, Jesus. Also, there are those who are here. You know you need to return to God. You need to go and rededicate your life to Jesus. You need to have a new beginning. Things have gone off course. Your heart is cold. You are no more connected to him the way you used to be. You, are, you, have, you, felt, you have felt a departure of his, the reality of his presence and you want to be restored today. I'd like you to quickly rise on your feet right now. I'll pray for you also at the same time. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Quickly on your feet right now. God bless you. God bless you. People of God, give Jesus a big hand. It's worthy of all the praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the first and second call, please make your way to the aisle closest to you and I'll pray for you from right there. Make your way to the aisle closest to you and I'll pray for you from there. Quickly, to the aisle closest to you. People of God, give Jesus a big hand is worthy of all the praise and the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Once you are there, the aisle, please lift up your right hand, suspend filling your form, lift up your right hand and say these words in faith after me from the depth of your heart as you connect to God. Say after me, Lord Jesus, louder, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I know that I'm a sinner, but I know you died for me. On the third day, you rose again. Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Take control of me from this day forward. Now I know that I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep your hand lifted. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present these precious ones to you. It is your good hand that drew them. We decree that each one of them be blessed. Let every one of them receive grace to walk with you all the days of their life. No turning back in Jesus' precious name. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. If somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Please ensure your form is completed and hand it to the kingdom friend. You are welcome to the family of God. Everyone, will you rise on your feet as we give Jesus a big hand as we go further, as God's servant takes us further in this service. Make that hand bigger for the Lord. by the word today lift up your two hands where you are the word has gone forth the confirmation will come down yeah. no one returns from here without a story yeah. a story of divine intervention yeah. a story of supernatural turnaround yeah. a story of healings and deliverances yeah. a story of supernatural breakthroughs yeah. whatever praise carries shall be delivered into your life today. Yeah. We are going to be doing two things at the same time. We'll be taking the partaking of the table of the Lord for supernatural manifestations. We'll be celebrating God for divine interventions. And by the revelation you have had, you are entering to your world of all and rest today. Yeah. Whatever you desire from the Lord's table this morning, lift up your two hands and give it expression. Let the stewards take their positions right now. Give it expression. 
Give it expression. Give it expression. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me. Expectation is God's wisdom for provoking his interventions. Expectation is God's wisdom for the manifestation of the supernatural. What you don't expect, you are not permitted to experience. Therefore, keep your expectation alive. Whatever battle has ref refused you over the years will give up today at his presence. So as we praise him and partake of this communion, expect those assaults of the enemy on your life to clear off on their own. That growth in your body dissolves right now. That terminal disease disappears right now. Cancer, HIV, AIDS, heart disease, kidney crisis, liver, trauma, whatever represents an assault on your head, whatever is life-threatening, tormenting your life, every pain, every discomfort, expect them to vanish at the Lord's table today. Amen. Therefore, as you engage in high praises, I see your God intervene in your behalf. Amen. As you partake of this communion, I see you encounter a turnaround testimony. So shall it be. This table is today declared the flesh and the blood of Jesus. We partake of it to be empowered to live like him. Whatever cannot be found in Christ shall no longer be found in your body. It happened in the first service, in the second service, it will happen in this service. And your package is there. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Give the Lord a big hand. Let's have the choir. We are celebrating God in high praises. Hosanna praise, miracle praise. And we are looking forward to, expect, to experiencing his turnaround touch on our lives. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Please get set for the table. Your message forever. Hallelujah. Celebrate. Jesus, you are good and your message forever. Oh, you are good and your message forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you are good and your message forever. Jesus, you are good and your message forever. is forever. Hallelujah. So you are good and your mess is forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are good and your mess is forever. You are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him. It's one. So you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are 
Seven, verse 1. Clap your hands, O ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of truth. And 
in verse 4. Verse 4 of the scripture, he said, as we do that, he shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. It means he will release our inheritance to us. As we give him a loud blast of shouting praise, going to keep singing that song in the next three minutes you check your body Jesus has touched you a change has taken place in your life the lump is gone the pain is gone the crisis within your system is gone the strange movement is disappeared God has rebranded your life in one way or another as we sing that song take your Bibles except you have your friends sitting by your side because you are closing at this point and take your bags and rush down to the front so we can celebrate God with you. Amen. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Nothing negative that came to this service with you will return back home with you. Yeah. Come on, sing the same song and dance your dances. Shout your shoutest and give God the greatest of praise. Hallelujah.
encounter today. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for these instant testimonies of healings and deliverances because they appoint us to the release of everyone's desire. Every misfortune is over. Every unrest is over. Every discomfort is over. In your house and in your family. In your business and in your career. In your health and in your mind. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand, get seated. We have a lot of instant. Please get seated. I'll be giving prophetic blessing over your life for your access into the realm of all and rest. In Jesus' name. Let's read a few of these testimonies this morning. Shout glory. glory. Mr. Sunday Ofofo, partial blindness for two years, healed right now in the midst of praise. Glory to God. Carefully, carefully, just move back a bit. Move Good back. luck, Maruka. Ten years asthmatic condition disappeared right now Hallelujah. in the midst of this praise. Where is he? Come in, come in, little boy. Mrs. Oyemade, four years partial deafness, healed right now in the midst of praise. Blindness, deafness, Jesus is Lord. Let him come. John Ode, one year inability to raise the right hand, healed right now in the midst Hallelujah. of this praise. Paralysis gone. Elizabeth, innocent. She had three months growth in the neck. In the course of praise, she vomited. The growth disappeared to the glory of God. She what? She, she vomited. vomited and the growth disappeared. And the growth disappeared. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Look at it. Hallelujah. Francis, Six years hole in the right tomb, the hole filled up and he's totally healed. Hallelujah! Hole in the right, in the tomb. Mrs. Oye, a bimbola, one year fibroid pain disappeared in the midst of praise. Amen. Mwachuku Okechuku Chigozi, two years long problem could not could two year long problem in the midst of praise it was totally healed by the power of God long problem long problem <laughs> breathing challenge Chinere Okareme 10 years stomach oppression anytime she makes any sudden movement like that the stomach will pull but for, and that's been on for 10 years, but she danced aggressively, and that oppression has gone back to where it came from. 10 years plague messed up. Let's do two more only, please. Salako Moturayo, two years ulcer pain healed right now in the midst of praise. Amen. Nelson Chooks, Okereke, Eight months growth in the right tomb disappeared right now in the midst of praise. Growth in the right tongue disappeared. Hole in the tongue field. Jesus is doing marvels in armies. Please, one finally, one more, please, so we can clear up. 
Faith Funke, four years cardiac pain, healed against Ooh. doctor's report. Hallelujah. Jesus has set her free. Four years heart pain, cardiac crisis, healed in the midst of praise. Is somebody excited in the house? Come on, stand to your feet. Lift up your two hands. Celebrate the faithfulness of God. What a mighty God we serve. Give him thanks. Give him thanks in the spirit. Give him thanks in your understanding. Every testimony here is important. Just the time is not there. But we celebrate God for all of these acts of God in our midst today. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Because whatever the Lord does shall be forever. Every of your encounter today shall be forever. Every of your miracles today shall be forever. As the Lord liveth, none of the evils that may be tormenting your body will pass through that gate with you. You are not arriving home with any of them. As you go, you are declared cleansed. You are declared healed. You are declared delivered. Your turnaround is now released. Your medical job is landing this week. Your medical marriage is settled this week. Your medical children is confirmed this month. Your marital restoration is delivered this week. Whatever has been a barrier on your path of destiny clears out for you today. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up those two hands. Grace to make the most of this week. Receive it now. Grace to qualify for the 11th hour order of blessings. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. We believe that you have been blessed by today's teaching. To get more materials and resources online, visit our website at www.davidoyedeplaministries.org.